outside uh, today. We have some clouds out there. Nothing too bad. It's really a nice morning to start. It's mild out there. It's humid as well, and we do have some fog. Time right now is 519. Looking at our hotel modern camera towards the Superdome this morning. And again, the city looks pretty good. Bright light shining. No rainfall out there. Dry conditions at the airport as well. 67 degrees and the winds are calm to light for most spots. We still have an issue with the dew point temperatures close to the actual temperature. So that gives us that fog potential this morning. 74 for Grand Isle. 67 Six for Bell Chase, 69 right now for Odman Park on the North Shore. We are a little bit cooler. We have some upper 50s in Bogalusa, 60 degrees right now, right around Slidell and 62 for Hammond. Even coastal Mississippi looking at those lower 60s out the door. So we are a little bit warmer in most spots than yesterday. Slidell, one degree cooler right now, and Galliano is 10 degrees warmer. So you can see the variability with the temperatures so far. We have some fog as well. Nice range from one to 10 miles down to one mile for Homa. So that's a trouble spot. Bogalusa back up to seven, but those numbers will be down throughout the morning during the commute time. Temperature is making a quick climb once again, close to 80 degrees by 10 o'clock. Same goes this afternoon, low to middle 80s throughout the afternoon. We had a cold front to our north yesterday. That front has now slid east of us, and we still have a chance for some isolated showers and storms, but not associated with that frontal boundary, more so of a heating of the day type event for us. We had some heavy rain over Houston yesterday, still some offshore showers and storms starting to move north towards Houston but certainly not the setup that was in place yesterday morning. To the north and west, we have another cold frontal boundary building in associated with another system moving off the Pacific. That's going to enhance our rain chances for the weekend. Again, looking at a little bit of convergence here, some boundaries that will collide into the afternoon that could produce some heavy rainfall west of the area. But here's a big upper level low. You see that pinwheel action and that will be sliding east towards the Pacific. And again, on our doorstep into the weekend, we'll time that out in just a bit. Right now for today, some fog this morning, an isolated shower storm this afternoon, right around 20% closer to sunset. That's when things start to really fall apart as we lose the source, the energy, the heating of the day into Tuesday, uh, Thursday morning. I'm not taking you back. Fog out the door Thursday, an isolated shower or storm in the afternoon. Once again, that continues into the evening. Now, as we get into Saturday, this is three o'clock. We'll already have some scattered showers and storms. That's all ahead of this cold front that will be marching east through the weekend. So we're looking at Saturday night, nine o'clock, still some scattered showers and storms. Timing of this front with the latest models puts us just offshore into Sunday morning, so that should take most of the rainfall with it, leaving us just with a few clouds early Sunday and then quick clearing and much cooler to the tropics. This is uh, fitting because we have the hurricane conference happening right now. We have an area in the tropics. It's well east of Bermuda, a 50% chance of becoming a subtropical system. We expect this to stay out to sea. No impacts for us, but there is a little something going on out there and the timing is certainly before where it should be in the month of June, but something to watch. Lafayette Square, Wednesday at the Square this evening, 5 o'clock. Temperatures in the 80s. Stay hydrated as we'll stay warm and humid. That goes through Saturday and then cool or Sunday. Check it out. Low to mid 70s. Sunshine starts next week. 75 Monday, lower 80s. Back to it on Tuesday. 5